I can't wait for it, honestly. I think this is this is this is it for for me to watch this Arsenal team, um, to see how City pr protect the treble, defend the treble. This is where they sort of you know they always deliver at this part of the season, and uh, yeah. I, Honestly, I feel Arsenal have got a big chance today, and but they've got to believe that. They've got to come here and believe it, really deep down, because they're going to get punched during the game and they're going to have to recover. Pep Guardiola's team have been the standout, haven't they? I mean, they're yeah. chasing this record of four in a row. He told me on Friday that he thinks it will take something close to perfection for them to win the title this year. Ten out of ten wins, perhaps nine. Is that how you see it as well from their point of view? And can they do it again? That's why I think Arsenal have to win. Because even if they draw today, I think City will go, you know, Cape will go and winning those last games that they've got left. That's the problem you've got when you're playing against such excellence um, in Manchester City. So that's why I think you have to do something to shock everybody. You have to go and... Yeah, you, you, to, to, if Arsenal leave here today having lost, they're going to be in trouble, I think, in terms of the league. If they leave here with a point, of course it's still on. And, you know, they'll feel comfortable that they've come here and got a point. But if they really believe they're going to win the title and take it off Manchester City and Liverpool and, and Mikel Arteta take it off Jurgen Klopp and Pep Guardiola, like I say, I think you have to do something that's staggering and something that's sort of amazing. And winning here is, is, is amazing. We've seen that rivalry between City and Liverpool in recent seasons. That's not only been in the Premier League, but in Europe as well. And potentially, this schedule is very busy for all these clubs, but we could have City and Arsenal gunning for the title and also a Champions League showdown to boot. I mean, this could be the new rivalry, if you will. Yeah, I mean, look, there's no doubt that um, Liverpool and uh, City have been the sort of main rivalry over the last five or six years. But Mikel Arteta, he shocked me, I have to say, because a few years ago I thought top four was where Arsenal were thinking. I thought Mikel Arteta's ceiling would be top four. But they've really invested in the team. Mikel Arteta's proven that he can get them up to that sort of, if you like, on the edge of a title. Now he's got to go that sort of, if you like, over that final hurdle and see where they can get them all away. And it's an exciting couple of months in the Champions League and in the league. But it starts today. This is real now. The players wake up this morning. They know that feeling inside their body is different than it has been at any other point in the season. It's can't explain it but they know that this is a really really big moment and you can't shy away from it you can't come into this game thinking a draw is going to be a good result um, I'm sure they won't because they're not they're not wired that way Mikel Arteta's not wired that way Pep Guardiola certainly isn't wired that way um, so I'm hoping they go for each other um, and I think they will